The ascendant, also known as the rising sign, refers to the constellation that was on the eastern horizon at the moment of your birth. The ascendant is one of the three most important things to know about your chart, the others being the sun and the moon, because it represents how we approach the world. It's a permanent lens through which all experience is perceived. You and I can go to the same party and talk to the same people, and we can have vastly different experiences. According to a Gemini rising, for instance, a party is a good thing. All those people are stimulating, and it doesn't cross their mind that it could be Squaresville because a party is what you make of it. Let's ratchet it up a bit and say that the Gemini rising is new to town. So they'll make social connections that sow the seeds of their social life. Gemini rising is loving it. Now let's take Capricorn rising. She isn't all that interested in the party because having fun isn't productive in itself, but that's okay because Nobody in the neighborhood knows much about her, so this party is a way for her to control her image and give off the right impression. She wants a solid reputation because that brings more opportunities to advance. She'll watch her neighbors all night to see who's who. She may have a good time or she may be left cold, but either way, she's been industrious. How about the Cancer Ascendant who goes in because a neighborhood must be cohesive for a sense of security and hominess. She's putting down roots and that means having conversation with the people on her block. A home environment means a lot to Cancer so she wouldn't dream of skipping it. A Sagittarius Ascendant says if you're invited you go whether you're new to the neighborhood or not. You find him at the keg or where the games are being played or in the case of a more introverted Sag where the philosophical discussions are taking place or where the exotic foreigners are talking about their travels. In the sea of things that we could pay attention to, the rising sign shows what we focus on. It shows what we select and what we ignore. But there's another feature to the Ascendant. It shows how you come across to others. You might say, how is it that I have anything to do with another person's perception of me? It's because we broadcast our attitudes. Let's go back to the party, to the Gemini rising as an example. He's in it for social connections, so he'll draw and be drawn to conversation. To him, reaching out isn't a risk. He's interested in everyone because he's a gossip at heart. Then people tell him that he's friendly and easy to talk to. This, of course, bolsters his view of himself as a breezy extrovert. And because he has social confidence, people invite him places, and he becomes even more outward. He couldn't hide it if he tried. In the same way, an Aries rising will seek out opportunities to compete and then get the reputation of being competitive. Virgo rising sees the world as a puzzle that you have to think your way through. They share those thoughts, and they get the rep for being analytical. The rising sign is also responsible for the discrepancy we've all encountered, where a person appears to be a certain way, but not really once you get to know them. Maybe a person seems rather loose at first because they have Pisces rising, but as you get to know them, you see that they're really pragmatic with a sun in the earthy and predictable sign of Taurus or someone has Scorpio rising. So initially they seem quiet and reserved, but once they size you up and decide you're okay, 
a real clown comes out because the sun is in Sagittarius. Now, the rising sign can operate strangely if a person is really lost, if they're profoundly insecure. The rising sign can be used as nothing more than a facade or a mask that's phony. When the unhealthy person has Leo rising, on a superficial level, he'll seem bold and warm and generous, but at home, they know this guy is really rotten and self-consumed. The unhealthy Libra rising gives off immense charm, but in private, he's the most cruel thing ever. In these cases, the rising sign becomes the shield behind which an unbalanced person hides. Luckily, most of us are using our rising sign for what it's meant to be, a filter through which we perceive the whole world. Thank you for watching Secrets from an Astrologer's Desk, The Ascendant. I'm Joy. More videos to come.